Family and military gathered at Portland Air National Guard Base to say farewell to Command Chief Master Sergeant Chris Roper. The event saw the wing change of authority, where Chief Roper relinquished authority to now Command Chief Nikes Swift. Before the event, the Chief offered some words of advice to any airman looking to achieve their full potential. Uh, I would give any advice to any E1. I would say don't shy away from opportunity. Um, volunteer for things. Uh, when those opportunities uh, present themselves, uh, jump up and say, yeah, I'd be glad to do that. I'll be, go to, I'll be more than happy to take those courses or go to that professional development. I would tell an airman these days, please take advantage of all those opportunities that are available for you and find those ones that fit your need or your family's need and take advantage of those opportunities. When looking back on his career, it's Chief Roper's work bringing education opportunities to airmen that he's most proud of. Um, yesterday, as I was saying uh, goodbye to people at the main gate as they were coming in, um, I had one of the uh, airmen say, Chief, if it wouldn't have been for that CCAF class that you helped put together, I'd have never gotten my associate's degree. So it's not just me that made that happen. That was the chiefs, that was the commanders, that was the wing commander. And so it's done wonders for this organization, and I see it continue to pay off huge benefits for developing our airmen and meeting all the mission requirements we need. What's next for Chief Roper? spending quality time with his family, and taking a much-needed vacation. After retirement, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. I'm going to take at least a couple months off and just uh, spend the summer with uh, my kids. You know, float in the river, uh, backpacking, head up to Mount Hood, maybe do the Timberline Trail. So um, just enjoy a few months off, not jumping right back into work. Reporting for the 142nd Fighter Wing, I'm Senior Airman Alexander Frank.